Hello everybody, this is Pahamar and Direwolf20, episode 15 of Agrarian Skies. How are you doing today, Direwolf? Good, I'm so proud you knew what episode we were on. I did, I, I totally didn't look over at my other window that tells me what one we're filming. Awesome. Yeah, hey, it's better than the last time. So I see we've done a few things off camera uh, that we want to catch up the audience to, I guess? Yep, but I also hear we have some quests to hand in too. What do you think? We do. Exciting yeah, quests exciting. or boring work? I say boring work should go first. <laughs> okay. Do you want to show off what yeah, you've done and then I'll show off what I've done? Yeah, I just did some really basic stuff. Um, I implemented, uh, or I actually handed in all the soul sand, so I dumped it all into a quest delivery system. I'm about to do the same exact thing over here uh, with uh, the ice, which I set up. So real basic, simple setup. I didn't feel like we needed to see this on camera, but actually I think we did on camera show building the glacial precipitators. All I did was stick a barrel on top of it and start pumping it full of ice. And we've now got enough ice for the hand. -in. Nice. Nice. So I'm actually going to um, designate the quest delivery system, select the iceberg task, click, um, bound iceberg to the QDS, and then we just need to throw some item ducks on. Now here's something I did notice about the quest delivery system, by the way, and I think we both, maybe some of us knew this, maybe some of us didn't, I don't know. Um, long story short, uh, if the quest delivery system finishes or gets to 100%, it doesn't stop accepting items. Yep, so I just saw that with the mob essence. Mob kept drinking. drinking. Yeah. So let's see, we've already got 11% here, 12%. So it's sending all the ice in, and that's going to basically hand in the 5,000 ice that we needed to go. That was pretty easy to do, honestly. Um, just kind of let that run overnight with the chunk loading. Chunk loaders are fixed, by the way. Hooray. Yep, we finally figured out what it was that we needed to do for that. Cool. So I just basically did this exact thing with the soul sand that we had over there. I also expanded our igneous extruder setup. Yeah, like you did. Like a real... Yeah, just a little bit. I think I put 32 of them down. Yep, and in addition them to, all up to four or five we have downstairs. Yeah, so now that's, you know, 32 of these, and we've got a line of about eight item ducks, all four sides set to items go into the item ducks, and they all dump out into here. So we're basically producing a ton of cobble. Which I'm so after... glad we have that on a storage yeah. bus. We have a lot more cobble to make, though. We do. We have quite a lot of cobble, so this will chew away for quite a while. We need a couple compressed, right? Yep, we need one. I believe so. So that's just basically implemented to get that going. Um, it's in here somewhere. Did it go Did it away? Go away? I don't think. Oh no, there it is down at the bottom. Collagen madness. It's a very black block. Yeah, one octuple compressed. Wow. Yeah. So that's going to take a while because we need 43 million and we've got 831,000 so far. So we might even need a few more of these igneous extruders cruising. Uh, it might not uh, be too might bad because be... we only fixed the chunk loading thing about six hours ago. Yeah. So I think my what I said last episode, what was it, 42 hours with 40 odd of these? So if yeah. we let this run another day or two, we should be all right. I want to say that we got about 100,000 an hour then, because I think we were right around 200,000 when we had fixed it. So if we're getting 100,000 an hour, that's not too bad. Yeah. 24 hours would be 2.4 million. Well, that might be bad. Right. I don't know. We'll figure it out. So that's kind of the boring work I did. Oh, and then also another hoarding quest we needed was... Um, now, this one's actually interesting. Uh, seared stone, we needed 100 of those. And seared stone is made by dumping cobblestone into a smeltery. So, have you ever used this thing before? The ME level emitter? Yes. Cool. So basically, I set an export bus down here to export uh, cobblestone into the AE system, or into the from the AE system into the smeltery, and I set it to only run when it's not receiving a redstone signal. And then I set this thing up to emit a redstone signal when there's over 101 seared stone in the system. So, basically, it ran overnight and then turned itself off when it was done collecting all the seared stone. That'll be perfect. Actually, you might want to leave that there because we also need to do this with uh, clear glass. We do, that's true. Yeah. So I guess so. I could hook that back up. You, yeah, there you go. Yeah, we do have to do clear glass, that's correct. Um, so we can it's pretty 10, much do that. So. Yeah, that one's a little bit more. 
But that's fine. We just need to hook up the um, the sand to it. I actually ex made this a bit taller today, so I think now it has an internal capacity of let's see, nine times one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So wow. Okay, so 63 blocks in there, which will give us 126 clear glass. If I did my math correctly. Okay. Sweet. So that's pretty much what I'm working on. So I'm ready to hand in Seared Stone and the Iceberg Quest. And I'm also ready to hand in um, the Sand Quest. See, we emptied our, our better barrel. Whoops. <laughs> oh, well. That's all right. That's all right. We'll let it chew It's away. only ice, and it's free. Um, as a matter of fact, I'm ready to start one other thing I did, which was pretty basic and felt I could do off camera and not be on camera when I built it, was um, build a pulverizer that pulverized cobble and sand. But the output here goes directly into this barrel because um, we need a lot of sand. Yep, and we actually also need sand to get Thumbcraft stuff too, so it's a good thing to have yeah, a lot of yeah. sand. So we need 100 double compressed sand, which we have enough to make right now. And then we also need 10,000 glass and 10,000 clear glass. So we're going to need a total of 20,000 sand on top of the double compressed sand. But I taught the A system how to make double compressed sand. So I'm going to request 100 of those right now. Ah, let it go. Boom. So I'm ready to hand in like three or four of these quests. Jeez, and all I did was like give you more room and get ready to set up the mob spawners and get a milk thing. And going. take down my tree farm because I need trees for a quest hand. And you're like, oh, I don't need these trees. Hey, you hey. wanted grilled cheese. We needed wheat. I suppose. And I also and wanted I to also film us want... setting up the second farm because this one's going to have to move anyways. Okay. And I need. So I see seeds. we only have a stack of wheat. Did you already pull them out? Or... Oh, I pulled out oh, it. I pulled it out several times. We've got quite a few in the AE system now. Nice. You have to admit, this grilled cheese is pretty awesome. It is pretty good, and who doesn't love a good grilled cheese? Right? So I've got a half a stack on me. I think that's like a pretty good food source, and it's real easy to automate, as we saw. All right, what'd you do? Let's see. Well, I totally stole all your tree farm, took it to myself, myself. Uh, expanded, expanded out expanded the out. smeltery there, kind of cleaned up all this, moved everything into the AE system. Right. Gave us a couple more drive bays, and the big thing I did today was I hooked up the liquid stuff. Yeah, I noticed you made the, the ME and fluid crafting chamber, which is cool. It basically allows you to auto-craft liquids. Yep, or wet so, liquids. so what I did was I came over here to your milker, and I broke it. Right, I broke it. I saw. And I've now expanded it out, so I moved all the cows that were upstairs down here, because the right. rancher works in a 5x5 five five space. Cool. And with this many cows, it actually pulls in a bucket of milk about once a second. Awesome. Which was a lot faster than last night. Right. And we need milk for one of your hoarding quests, right? Yep, we do. Yep. And we can actually hand it in. I was just getting ready to do that. So it oh, goes cool. directly cool. into the uh, AE system, and it gets stored in these fluid storage cells. Yeah, these are cool. So I had to make a fluid terminal so we can actually see what fluid's in there. So we actually have 17,000 buckets worth of milk in the system right now. Cool. And so then I created this ME fluid crafting chamber. So it's just an encoded pattern that says one milk bucket gives you four fresh milk, which is what you needed to get butter and cheese and all that stuff. Right. So it just uses the milk directly and doesn't actually use the bucket. Exactly. That's cool. So with that, now we can have our grilled cheese and we have all this delicious milk here over here and everything. Uh, I also made a bigger tank for the mob essence because we had a ton of it. But we okay. really got to deal with that wisp problem. So the other thing I did today was I braved the dangers of upstairs. Oh. And let me toss you a few things. Okay. Oh, man. We've got wisps and safari nets and a peck forager and enderman, chicken, spider, zombie, pig, slime, skeleton. Good man, Mr. Bodmar. So these are all the so things all that we're going to use in our mob uh, farms over here, and I've also taught the ME sorry, the AE system here how to make darkened glass. Good. So darkened glass. Darkened glass is cool, isn't it? Yep, it allows us to see what's inside of it. So now we don't need a drop trap anymore because we have all this mob essence and we have these mob spawners. Is I can build these little rooms on the ground and we can selectively spawn only the mobs we want. So for example, if we right, want yeah. a lot of ender pearls, well, we spawn a bunch of mob um, endermen. Cool. The only thing to note is that mob essence, it costs more to spawn a mob than you'll get from a mob. 
Yeah. So, so we should yeah. keep the drop trap so that we keep producing mob essence. Yeah. Yeah. Unless we're gonna go with cursed earth. Well, we have a bunch of cursed earth. Actually, no, we, we have a bunch of tainted it? soil. We get tainted soil from uh, the sludge boiler. Okay. Yeah. Um, so we need a division sigil in order to get cursed earth. I don't think there's another way to make it. I thought we saw a way with witch water. Oh, you did say somebody said there was a way to do it with witch water. No. Was it dirt in a witch water? Uh, I think you said it was dirt in a witch water bucket. Well, we have a witch water bucket like right here, so dirt yeah, doesn't my, fit in yeah, it. Not yeah, saying yeah. it. No, you need yeah. a. It's a crafting recipe. You don't just put dirt in it. Oh, well, you get a bucket of it. Yeah, you just. There you go. Cool. Tainted soil. No, that makes tainted soil. Nah, not yeah, the same. Not that's the same. that's different from cursed earth. Also, our liquid names are all kinds of derped. Did you notice that? They are. Yeah. The liquid registry is wonky. Nah, well, that happens. It's yeah, not Minecraft. Like, not everything's perfect. Well, look up like how to make the recipe for seared stone. Right. Molten lead, apparently. Yes. Which is clearly, obviously, not true, and it actually everything works correctly. It just the, the registry is derped, so that's that loading in the wrong order thing. Hmm, that's terrible. Yeah, it stinks. So not a big deal. Um, so if you want, I'm ready to hand in some things. Let me get my quest book, but first I need a grilled cheese. Okay, grilled cheeses are awesome. I'm going to hand in Sands of Time. I've already manually submitted that. Uh, so I'm going to pick the left reward bag on Sands of Time. Which, by the way, got us two hearts, four cyclic assemblers, which is actually kind of cool. I'm just going to start putting hearts in our AA system. How's that sound? I have a legendary Ooh, I got a legendary bag. bag. Yeah, wow, cool. Well, my good bag got me... Ooh, more slimy saplings. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I got yeah, a you Zoma God. You got a what? You ready for it? I'm ready for it. Show me what you got. Oh, wow. Fanciness. This is blood magic stuff, right? This is. It may look like something you might also be familiar with, but it is not that. It is not. Right. I don't know what these things do when you activate them, so I'm afraid to do it. But here's your stuff back. And I also got TNT. Oh, cool. All right, my legendary reward bag contains, ooh, 16 ethereal essences of many different types. It's a very nice reward with a 2% chance to get it. I'm just going to throw them all into the AE system. That's perfect, because that's, that's, that's where I've been putting all the other wisp essences in. Cool. Uh, wow, that was a lot of wisp essence. All right, cool. Uh, the next thing we need from our hoarding quest is the ice. I'll do that ice hand in. I'll pick the left bag. I'll do the right. I got an epic bag. As did I. As did I. Nice. I got a oh my god reward. It's a thaumium scoop with repair five on it. Nice. That's probably nice. pretty handy for the B thing. I'll put that in the A system for you as well. I got a lava. I got three lava crystals, three necrotic bone, and three balls of moss. Neat. Those are all items for tinkers. Yep. But I don't know if we can use them here. I'm gonna pick the left reward bag on the soul sand quest. I'll pick right. And I got a nice reward. I got 16 magical wood and an enchantment table. And I have more amaranth stairs. Thank cool. you, Morph. All right, I've got one more hand in to do then. And that would jeez, be jeez. seared stone, manual submit. 64 out of... And manual submit. And I'm going to pick the middle bag on this one for seared stone. It's I'll called Blacksmith Flocks. Cool. I got a greater bag. I have an epic one. Ooh, nice. And I got, got useful. I got... Spaghetti and meatballs. I got useful. I got, I got corn. Neat. So spaghetti and meatballs is apparently spaghetti plus steak. And that requires a tomato, pasta, and spice leaf. So we have, we have 19 unused lives. That's awesome. Nineteen and a half, I should say. Remember that? So chest? I made good progress. I feel like I did pretty good on that, right? For yeah, the you, you did. Not too I shabby. Totally did a bunch of infrastructure and didn't get near as many quests done. I did infrastructure too. 
Yeah. Kinda. <laughs> uh, should we start on automated mining? I think that's probably a good thing because we got a ton of power. Yeah. Well, we don't have a ton of power, believe it or not, but we do have a pretty good amount of power. Well, it would it not be hard, hard to get us a lot more power. So we need a laser drill precharger and a laser drill. I'm going to work on those right now, actually. Let me do that. I'm going to see about handing in this milk. Laser drill precharger requires some glowstone illuminators, which is a thousand millibuckets of glowstone, I presume, even though it's telling me that it's honey. It's lying. And from one of these, I will get. Oh, I spilled uh, milk. Oh. You are sloppy with your resident ender, I'll have you know. My resident ender? Yeah. When did I spill resident ender? I don't know. There's an extra, um, an extra ender pearl appears to have gone into the fluid transposer. I'm gonna fix that. Oh, it's a fluid interface is what I need. That's right. I don't want to break this. Oh, potty noob. What did I do? What did I do? Even though I'm not properly blaming you. Alright, I'm gonna have to get a regular tank. One sec, I'm breaking all the things. I noticed. Right, I've got a tank with a little bit of resonant ender in it. I'm just going to stick it right there for now. There we go. All right, let's try it with this. Cool. I've got the laser drill. Now I need. Ooh, we need a pink slime ball for laser precharger. I have to remember how to get those. Uh, what was it? Sorry. Um. Pink slime ball. Oh, you get that from a slaughterhouse. Well, you get pink slime from a slaughterhouse, I think, and then you have to place it in the world and pink slimes will spawn. I believe. But let me double check. Alright, guys, we'll be back after I do my research on pink slime balls. And after I figured how to get a liquid out of this thing into the quest delivery system. Uh, probably a liquid export bus. Tried it, not Try working, it. but uh, we'll yeah. take care of it. Pump it into a tank, then. That's what I'm thinking. Oh no, you've got it. Um, fluid duct out of here. Oh yeah, that would oh, do yeah. it. Fluid duct on the south side, apparently. All right, be right back. Dun dun dun, almost done. I need a lever. There we go. All right, we'll be back when this is finished. All right, Pahamar, so we need pink slimes. So you were working already, I know, on a mob spawner from MFR, right? Correct. Correct. So what do you got going on here? What's your plan? So my plan here is we got this mob spawner in the middle, and I want this one specifically for Enderman. 
Cool. So right now it's bright inside because we got this opening in here so we could work. Although I could probably close that now. Right. And what's going to happen? It's three tall. Enderman spawn in the middle. And there's these five, four grinders. Four grinders going to be hooked up to a tesseract in terms of getting the liquid mob essence out as well as the items and pumping power into these grinders. Because we'll okay. just be spawning endermen, we should get a lot of enderpearls. Nice. That's the plan, anyways. Sounds like a good plan. Do we need... So, do Here's you have my problem, yeah. any redstone conduit? Here's my problem, though, buddy. What's that? What's that? What are you doing? Demonstrating a problem. Oh, well, minor problem. It's not a big problem, but it's a minor problem. See the inside now? Yeah. So put a cover here. Oh. Yeah. Covers light that light through. Yeah. Hmm, I wonder, is it the top? I'm not sure, to be honest with you. I'm pretty sure micro blocks just let light through. They always did that in Red Power 2, so... Hmm, then how to do this? Although I guess we're Although exporting guess we're... power and energy out, so... Well, the mob grinder doesn't need darkness, but it would definitely be more efficient if it were dark in there, because then it would not only spawn the one type of mob, the Enderman, that we're forcing spawning, but it would also spawn other stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah, hmm. I guess we could just do kind of an ugly, like, block. What do you mean? Uh, hmm. I don't know what to do. I know what I'll do. I'll well, check on the milk. 5%. Well, wow, if you don't want light low. bleeding in, your other option is to put a tesseract underneath each grinder. Or, yeah, that's pretty much what you need to do. That is a lot is of tesseracts, though. I know. I need to grow All cheese. I want is a slaughterhouse. I know. You desperately want that pink slime because you want to keep going. I do. I want to make the next quest progress. Automated mining. So you're doing go with the flow, and you're working on milk. Yeah, and yeah, you're it's, at six percent. <laughs> yeah, because it's, it's sixteen thousand buckets. It's a lot of buckets. It is a lot of buckets. Well, you know what? I got three tesseracts on me earlier today. I made six. So. Yeah. So you're just gonna go tesseract crazy. Yep, probably the best bet. I hate you. Why? We're gonna have tons of enderpearl soon. I guess. You said it yourself. I know. I'm always more conservative about using resources, but I guess since we're going to have like unlimited end of pearls in a few minutes, I guess it doesn't matter. Maybe. So you're basically going to want, you're going to want the Tesseract behind the grinder. Oh yeah, that's right. No. I mean, you could have it above and just item duct it down, but. No, I had it below. Yeah. below. Okay. So the grinder should, um, the Tesseract behind should be sending items and liquids and receiving power. And that's how it should go. And how about we'll be back in a few minutes once we've done this, because we're basically going to have to do a lot of grunt work for a few minutes. Sounds like a good plan. Alright, back in a minute, guys. Guys, we're back, and I think we're pretty close to the point where we're ready to do what we want to do. Sounds good. Um, I have everything I need. Or a change. That's kind of cool. So I'm going to put this Tesseract down, which will be sending fluid and sending power. And the fluid is going to be pumped out of the open blocks tank, and as is the power here. Maybe that's working? Well, let's have a look over let's here. Have a look over. We have I'm not seeing liquid. I'm not seeing... Oh, do we? Yeah, we have yeah, enemy being spawned, and spawned. they're being killed. I'm a little concerned that we're actually not sending liquid through, but... 
Can you pump out of the top of an open tank like that? Oh, I don't know if you can. Because it doesn't look like liquid's traveling through the pipe, but that might be that fluid derpiness. We I mean, if this stops way. working... Yeah, like, if this stops working in a minute, we'll know. Basically. Well, let me check our ender pearls. Oh, yeah. We went from, yeah, like, none to 12. to 12. Nice. Yeah, but we're no longer spawning, so we're not getting liquid. Right. No, it's, I, I hear them dying. Let's see. Hmm. We're also sending fluid on channel 2. Right. But that's in no way connected to channel 3. Yeah, so that fluid's going nowhere. No, the fluid's going into this tank over here. This is channel 2, right? Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah, that's right. I said this guy to receive. If you watch, there's a little bit of mob essence that drips into the... from here. This is receiving... Yeah, it's receiving fluids. Yeah, I think we're out of mob essence now. So I think that pipe, uh, that duct yeah, we that's uh, in the top there, we probably want it to go into the bottom. Yeah, I can make that happen. This is the part where I miss having bat mode. Wow, I am just going to send this. Can't take you anywhere, Bahamar. Well, I was worried about you dropping on me and falling to your death. Well, don't mine out the block under me then. Uh, don't just follow me blindly. Alright, so that should be pumping now. There yeah, we go. Yeah, I can see it. Now oh. we should be getting Enderman spawn again. Yep, we are. Nice, dude. There we go. Now we have Ender Pearls for days, and you could have your mo your uh, slaughterhouse. Cool. But the deal is. You uh, by the way, that MFR auto spawner. If you apply a redstone signal to it, it turns it off. Okay. So what we might want to do is get some kind of. Um, you know what? I'll, I'll I'll run this piece if you want. Are you thinking about redding it? Yeah. What I'm thinking is, if we go down here, I should be able to apply it to the block right next to it. So I'm going to make sure this guy is set to ignore redstone, because we don't want to actually cut any power or anything. Where's force connection mode? There used to be a force connection mode. Let me look up how to get force connection mode on this. Okay. Yeah, Palmer, I don't know why this isn't working. Force connection mode should be here, but it's like not even an option at this point. Let's see. I can change the color. It's not behaving correctly. I have this handy dandy vanilla mechanic for you. No, vanilla bad. Vanilla good, because it's working. Oh, I hate that. That's not nearly as cool, because I wanted to have like the done. cable be outside. Let's have a look and make sure yeah, they're not spawning. Oh, that's a big reactors thing. Mine factory reloaded. Yeah, they're not spawning, yeah, so, that not spawning so that works. Yeah, so, I know. Ha -ha. Ha -ha. Boring, though. I wanted the lever out front. Like, how cool would it be for the lever to be, like, right up in the front here? That's what well, I'm saying. We don't need it to be too fancy. All right, so can we slime? Can we do some cows or some slimes in a slaughterhouse now with the same setup? I think so. Hooray! So I'm actually going to break a couple pieces of glass. And I'm going to pick up one of your grinders. Which, by the way, your mob essence. Let's see. Sending items, sending fluid. Frequency 2. This mob essence isn't emptying out of these things. Maybe they don't auto-eject the mob essence. Is it because it's on the back as opposed to underneath or something? 
Maybe. What we could do is we could have fluid ducts underneath. That probably works. That probably works. Need some servos? I don't know if you'll need them. Let me check. You may or may not. All right, well, I'll be ready right. to make them if you need. you need. You do not. Excellent. Yeah, so you're cool. So if you want to just repeat what I did down there, there's some uh, fluid ducts for you. Okay. So you made the one fancy more. Fancy fancy one. I did. We have hardened glass now, so I figured why not. So I'm going to replace this guy. Interesting. It's almost like that's not working. All right, I'm not going to worry about it right now. What are you going on about? It almost looks like it's not working to me. Maybe What's I'm crazy. not What's... working? That thing. You are so, do you have so a... specific. Do you have, well, there's fluid in the fluid duct still. It's like it's not going into the tesseract. Well, I had a, it looked like it was working over there. This one seemed funny. Put the uh, grinder down again. The grinder? Yeah, the one you took off. I'll go below. That might have sure fallen. Up. Where'd it go? Did you pick it up? I have it. Okay. Um, let me have the slaughterhouse back. Okay, I'm on my way. And do you have a safari net with a cow or pig in it already? Yep, let me... You, let's do the pig. Ah, you got it already. Alright, you put it into the thing there and I'm gonna get the slaughterhouse ready to roll. Zombie. Because it's dark. Which is fine by me. Alright, so you get that guy in there, and then go flip the lever for me. I'm gonna get this. I assume this is the direction it needs to go in, but we'll find out. Let me know when you flip the lever, or I can actually see from up here. Did you hit the lever? Yep, that's it now. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Cool. So slaughterhouse should slaughterhouse these guys. In fact, we'll probably want levers on these things. Just so you know, if you Just stand in front of those grinders, it's going to grind you. No, it won't. You're letting pigs out. You're letting pigs out. I'm just killing the grinders for a minute so that the slaughterhouse is guaranteed to get them. So we've got some meat. Nice. And we're getting a little bit of pink slime. So we got to let this run for a little bit. So do you want to wrap up the episode here and then maybe come back next time to get the pink slime going? Sounds good. I think we are, uh, I think we're ready for that. Yeah, I think it is about wrapping up point. So for now, this is Daryl 20 and Pahamar wrapping up. Come on, Slaughterhouse, let's go. Come on, pigs. I got levers with the, the, the grinders on the outside now, so you can take off the ones on the inside. Oh, that's why the Slaughterhouse isn't working. Because you're letting the pigs out. No, because you put a lever on the grinder, on the Slaughterhouse. <laughs> Silly Pahamar. Exactly. Oh, listen All right, to the so goal. Yeah. I know. So we'll be back next episode. Uh, we should have enough pink slime by then to spawn ourselves a pink slime. And then I have a little trick for us that I'm showing my YouTube audience right now oh. that should help out that Pahamar will have to see next time. But what about my YouTube audience? Do you not love them? Do you not love them? I do. They can, they can look at my video to see <laughs> what I just showed you. See how that works? Yeah, see how this I is see. public on the internet for uh, everyone? I see, I see. <laughs> You're like, oh, my audience can't look at your videos for some reason. Darwolf mean. Yep. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed the episode, and take it easy. Take it easy, guys.